Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. With Christmas right around the corner, I wanted to give you guys a story that's been requested quite a few times on this channel. This time I'll be tackling what if the Dell became a Saiyan. As always, I'd like to remind you guys to subscribe if you haven't already, it really does help me out. I'm also on Patreon, so if you want to support my content, that is the best place. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to start our story at Bulma's birthday party. Everything up until the summoning of Shenron will go exactly the same way here. Now, my theory is that Shenron ran away after giving up the information on the Super Saiyan God. That's why there was no second wish to be had. Now, this time Shenron asks if there's anything else he can do before he leaves, eager to keep Beerus happy. Because she's done the maths and realized that there aren't enough Saiyans, Videl speaks up. She asks if a quarter Saiyan baby still in the womb would be enough to work for the ritual, as Vera Saiyan sure. Shenron confesses that he's not sure, as everything he knows of the Super Saiyan God comes from the Namekian Book of Legends. Unwilling to take the chance that it won't work, Videl states her wish loud and clear. Make me a Saiyan. There is a pause, the party guests in shock, especially Vegeta. Can this really be done so easily? Shenron's eyes glow red. Your wish is granted. Now I take my leave. W with your permission, of course, Lord Beerus. The Dragon Balls scatter and everyone is staring at Videl. A long tail has sprouted and her muscle mass has grown slightly. But what's more notable is her power, which is shot up by quite a margin. Videl feels an urge for battle that she's never felt before, but manages to hold it in, for now. The Super Saiyan God ritual goes off without a hitch, and Goku ascends into the form, going toe to toe with Beerus until he loses it. Vegeta approaches Videl. She expects him to be mad, but he's proud of her. He tells her that she did a brave thing, and she may have even saved the entire planet by doing what she did. Gohan chimes in that he feels the same way, which makes her feel a lot better. Vegeta and Piccolo do, however, insist that Videl have her tail removed. Now, as she witnesses the battle before her, Videl decides that she wants to get stronger. It almost feels like it's not really a choice that she can make anymore, her Saiyan blood is now in the driver's seat. She trains lightly while pregnant, but after Pan is born she kicks it up a notch. Gohan is still mostly busy and unable to train with her all the time, so she ends up training with Piccolo a fair bit. When Frieza returns to Earth, Videl stands with the rest of the group against him. While she helps with the grunts, she's powerless and forced to watch as Frieza stops Gohan's heart. While Piccolo and Krillin manage to bring Gohan back, Videl is in a rage. She screams as her hair turns golden and her power jumps higher. Super Saiyan Videl, unable to control her emotions, flies straight at Frieza before being stopped dead by Piccolo. From here, everything goes the same way, with Goku and Vegeta arriving just in time to save Videl from a death beam heading her way. Frieza is defeated by Goku and Vegeta, and time moves forward. Before long, Champa arrives on Beerus' world and challenges him. The Inter-Universal Tournament goes the same way as in the manga, with Hit throwing the match to Monaka. Gohan and Videl don't do a lot during the Goku Black Arc, but they're both enlisted for the Tournament of Power. Our roster this time is Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Videl, Piccolo, Krillin, Ten Shinhan, Roshi, number 17 and number 18. During the tournament, in place of Frieza, Videl finds herself fighting against Khalifla. Although Khalifa's Super Saiyan form is stronger than Videl's. Despite losing the first round, Videl smirks and closes her eyes. A flaming aura surrounds her, her muscles thinning down. She opens her red eyes as her hair also turns red. Videl has accessed Super Saiyan God, although she admits that she's still not used to it yet. The sight of Khalifa losing sends Kale into a rage, beginning her rampage. As always, Kefla is born, and after eliminating the Pride Troopers, she beelines for Videl, only to be stopped in her tracks by Gohan. Gohan and Kefla's match results in a draw, and both are knocked out of the arena. As the roster slims down ever more, Videl finds herself watching the epic fights in front of her, learning from them. As the timer ticks down, and Goku struggles to keep Jiren from kicking him out, Videl tells Goku to hold him still 
powering up to Super Saiyan God and firing a Masenko at Jiren, who manages to just about deflect it. But after he deflects it, Videl hits him hard with her eagle kick, knocking all three of them out of the ring. As the dust settles, number 17 reveals himself, and the universes are saved. Upon returning home, Videl resolves to become stronger than ever. After a few months of training, she finally gets Gohan to take a break from work, going with him into the room of spirit and time to train together. On the same day, a Saiyan named Broly arrives on Earth, picked up by Chi-Lai and Limo, and brought by Kikino to destroy the Saiyans. This doesn't go as planned, as Chi-Lai stops Kikino from making his wish and sends Broly home. The Freezer Force are no longer a threat, and Gogeta allows them to leave. More time passes, and Jarko arrives on Earth, taking the time to recruit all the powerful Earthlings to the Galactic Patrol. He reveals that a powerful being known as Moro has escaped from Galactic Prison, and he even beat Goku and Vegeta. Goku is currently training with Mirus, and Vegeta is missing, but meanwhile, thanks to Piccolo's blunder, Moro and his army of escaped convicts are heading straight for Earth. Jarko had only managed to buy them two months. Videl and Gohan return to the time chamber, as time is clearly not on their side. And that's where we'll end things for right now. So, what do you guys think? Will Videl ascend to new heights in the arcs to come? Find out in the next part. I'm going to leave a poll. How does Videl's wish affect Baby Pan? Because she's not been a focus character yet, I've not yet had the chance to mention her, but do you guys think she'll still be a quarter Saiyan, or would she be changed into a three quarter Saiyan now? Let me know by leaving a vote. If you enjoyed this what if, please subscribe and drop me a like. I've noticed that only around 15% of you are subscribed, so let's fix that. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.